Hey guys, Izzy from Endless RVing, and behind me we have what we think is one of the coolest toy haulers that Grand Design has to offer. It is the Momentum 29 GO. You're not going to want to miss it. You might be asking yourself, what is so great about this trailer? Well, I'm gonna tell you what caught our attention. So it's a toy hauler. Traditionally, the toy haulers are gonna be on a fifth wheel, although you do have some trailers. But what's pretty cool about this is that it's an open trailer, which means that the back toy hauler portion is not folded up, it's always down. So what that's gonna allow you to have is to carry your toy when you get to camp, you park, you pull your toy off, and now you have a deck without doing the work. So we're gonna get back there and show you exactly how it works. So this is what I'm talking about, guys. This is living the life at camp, right? So exactly what I said, open deck, right? This will drop down. You can put your toy in here. You have your D-rings where you can strap down, but instead of going through all that work of having to lift this thing up, it's always open, right? So once you pull your car off, you're chilling here. You can set up your gym, your barbecue, you can gate this in for your dogs. Look over here what you have. Gas-fired grill, right? Sink, and that's plumbed. You have a TCL TV, speakers. You have a nice refrigerator down below for the bubbly, as well as a shelf. This thing is ready for tailgating, ready for the party. LED lights above. The slides close when you're not uh, available. You have an awning coming above, as well as access to your interior. Check that door out right there. You have three steps that are gonna uh, send you down. All right. Guys, the exterior is gonna be nice fiberglass finish, uh, laminated finish. Let's walk inside. You have a little bump step here. I will tell you the first thing I like on here, there is no carpet, hmm. and I am a big fan of that. Immediately, if you look above, you have a drop down uh, bunk. Now this is awesome, right? So if you're trying to sleep people in here, there's your bed, you got your bunk. Let's walk in, look at the uh, campsite, right? Your passenger side, you got a huge window showing your campsite, okay? You have over on your driver's side, you have a nice couch here. I believe these, oh no, let's see. Right, fold that bed over here also, okay? Try fold bed. Another television, cabinets up top. Now, you can't open these cabinets unless this is all the way up. I don't, uh, I don't know if it's all the way up or down. You have a um, fireplace over here, both works visually and is functional. Check out the cabinets. All right. Slide, one slide on the driver's side. Continue walking through. More cabinets. Here's your control uh, area. Guys, this has a 4,400 watt Onan generator on here. Okay. And it also has uh, tanks to hold fuel. So toy hauler. You need fuel for your toys, onboard tank to, uh, to hold it. Some more cabinets. What I do like about Grand Design, they don't have vents in the floor, so you don't get all the dog hair and all the crap. All their vents are up high. Grand Design is known for that. Here's your next entrance, right? Here's your, your main entrance. It's gonna be on the passenger side. Let's continue to the kitchen. Pretty nice setup. Certainly gets the job done. You have like a laminated uh, countertop. Nice big sink. And then this is gonna double as a cutting board, right? To give you a little extra space. Here's your three burner cooktop by Furion. And look at this, you got an oven. How awesome is that? In addition to a microwave, you have your exhaust fan, two large, a large cabinet, two doors, and another cabinet up top. Nicely lit with the LEDs. You have an exhaust fan above. You have a, over on this side, a Rockford Fosgate subwoofer. 
Norcold. This is going to be an RV style refrigerator for people that don't know. RV style will run off your propane and electric. So when you're going down the road, you click it onto the uh, propane. It'll keep your stuff cold while you're going down the road. Let's continue down to the uh, bunks here. This is a bunk model. You have uh, double bunks. Okay. They have the privacy glass. Uh, I don't know if you can see this in here. <laughs> Sorry, privacy <laughs> curtain. Sorry about that. Okay. Let me just get this over here. Yeah. You're going to be able to get in here. Just look at over here. You have your USB connection. Very important. And smoke detector right above. If anybody has teens or not even teens, um, you know that USB is critical. All right. You have some more storage space here. Making full use of the storage cabinet above drawers below and then you have a pocket door that's going to separate the bathroom let's go and just go in the bathroom I'll talk because there's not room for two people the bathroom is a little tight guys so you have a, a separate shower and you do have cabinets uh, one sink you have a toilet with a foot pedal and if you want to get into the shower here, uh, two piece fiberglass shower. It's pretty high though. Yeah, yeah, you want to get in? Is. Go ahead and get in. It's very um, high. So here we go. And yeah, this is very high. Plus, yeah, yeah. you have the, uh, this might work for the guy we were talking about. Yeah, so yeah. You have the skylight here, and then you have uh, power outlets, plenty of them, on off switch. So no. No master one. bedroom no because you're, you're giving it up so right. you have a bed there right and you your bunk yep um, so, so no actual probably, master yeah you could probably fit six in here mm -hmm. which is it was just kind of cool listen when you have the toy hall you're giving up space for something else right so you can not get the toy hauler version but you don't have the deck right so that's how it works let's do a walk around outside and i'll uh, show you guys what's working outside so here we are at the front uh section of the passenger side you got Nice big storage. This has quite large. You can put a lot of stuff in there. Not uh, long, but deep. Good right. stack, stack things. If you look at the front cap. It's got the nice gel coat on the front cap with the momentum uh, emblem on there. And Grand Design guys is known for their customer service as well as the quality of the coaches. Let's continue walking down. There are um, manual uh, jacks, stabilizing jacks. You do have a spare tire underneath. Uh, dual 110 outlets. This is going to be your cable hookup. You have your Roxford Fosgate Marine Grade uh, external speakers. Here are going to be your exhaust for your refrigerator. Three steps going in. These easily fold up. Okay, they will fold up and then you close the door. The door has a screen on it, which is nice. Here's your grab handle. When you close the door, that goes over. Okay, this is has the WeatherTech Arctic insta insulation. It's rated for four season. This is all a fiberglass sidewall with decals. Um, you can see the show price here, 47,895. MSRP is 59,833. You have an awning that goes runs basically the whole side of the passenger side of the trailer along with LEDs on running under and you can see it's quite windy here and uh, it's not moving dual axle your tires are going to be 235 80 16s they're on Westlake tires overall length of this guy is 34 feet uh, the GPRW I believe is a little over 12,000 pounds. So this is going to be a three quarter ton towable. This is not half ton towable guys. Okay. Continuing down, you have another three steps to access your garage. And then this is how it will close up, right? Locked up. You will have dogs, whatever they can hang out here. Let's go around the back, get a shot of the back. You can see it's pre-wired for the Furion uh, rear view camera. All LED lights in the back. Here are your side markers. Because remember, this is not closing. This is going down the road just this way. That's locked 
So here's your fuel gauge. I'm assuming that's where your fuel uh, pump is going to be to actually fuel your toys. Toy haulers, they're going to have the ladder for the roof on the side since you can't put it on the back because you got that garage. One slide. And then you're going to have your uh, six gallon, it's either six or a 10 gallon hot water heater. Your uh, hookup, I believe this is a 30 amp. Your exhaust for your furnace, black and gray tanks. Here are your dump valves right here for the black and gray, as well as the exit valve is right there. That's where you hook up your sewer. Here's your exhaust for your own and generator. Here's your wet bay, okay. You're gonna have your, um... all right, so that's gonna be your black water. Here's your tank flush. And then you're gonna have your, uh, your hookups for your city connection. And this also has a battery disconnect here, as well as 110 outlets. There is your own and generator. That's pretty awesome to have on board. And there's some more storage, okay? Very nice. Final thing up front, guys. Power tongue jack lift as well as dual. I'm not going to pull that up, but it's either 20 or 30 pound dual propane tanks. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you like the video, please, we invite you to subscribe below. Very cool toy hauler. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. If you know somebody that's looking for a toy hauler but they don't want the big fifth wheel, share this with them. I didn't know about this till we just saw it. For myself and MJ, who's behind the camera, we thank you guys for watching and we'll see you on the road.